Hi there again everyone, this is Josie from Live at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here again on my channel. Today I will show you how I am going to be decorating my traveler's notebook showing you the monthly calendar that I'm adding. This one is from a printout that I got. It's a free printout from Scattered Squirrel and I have used this on my shabby chic planner that I hold from Daiso but since I'm not using that as a planner anymore and I use that now as a recipe book or binder I am reusing some of the blank calendars that I have not used or filled out yet just so I can recycle and not waste what I have printed so I'm showing here that I have also added that calendar with washi that complements the color of the cover and as you see here I am also attaching some of the remnants of the cover that I made or used on the traveler's notebook so on both sides so that when I folded that calendar and when I open it it doesn't rip or it's more secured that way so if you want to see my traveler's notebook inserts how I made this I sewed this and used um, Baker's twine and I have a tutorial so go ahead and click on my playlist and you will see how I made it so here's how I set it up I reused the oh happy day that I had as an embellishment from my September traveler's notebook but since I love it so much I have added it here that's the beauty of using washi when you're attaching things you can just remove and add it somewhere else and like I said I used the washi here and I folded in three the the calendar sheet that I printed for the month and what I've done for the first page here is it's for my monthly goals I have also done a flip through of my September layout and I have some trackers. This time I combined those that I think are related to each other instead of separating them. For example, in the previous month I have the fitness and also the meals tracked separately aside from the prescription as well as uh, you know my meals. And in addition, I am also tracking the number of steps you can see here and part two for my health and well-being is also my water intake and also my blood glucose sugar reading I don't know if you recall from my previous flip through I was undecided for my blood glucose reading what I'm gonna do but I've decided I will do a graph so that I can track it better and visually see how it's fluctuating <laughs> uh, my reading fluctuates so also here instead of having a separate tracker for chores and pets and cars I just combine them together and so that we can track all these activities and also separated entertainment but included the tech stuff for example replacing the printer ink and buying games and whatnot and probably this will evolve and depending on how I use it again I'm very visual that's why I need these trackers so on the next section here I am using for my social networking and so this one is for YouTube as well as Instagram Facebook blog and Twitter I'm about to create a Twitter account and this one is for milestone tracker for YouTube Instagram Facebook blog and Twitter and this extra page here I am putting in for notes just in case I would need that extra page so this is how I am going to be setting up now my travelers notebook I have mentioned it on my happy planner that I will be using it now as a planner and my happy planner I will be using it as a memory keeper or as a scrapbook so I have kind of done a prototype or practice somewhat back in September I didn't show it because I was just trying to see if it's gonna fit because my biggest complaint that's why I didn't use it in September as a planner is because I was using per page per day which of course doesn't allow me to see the rest of the week I can only see two days at a time the ones that are of, of the opposing page but I've realized that if I do it in a horizontal way and 
both pages that are facing each other I can use for all the seven days plus I even have space for notes then I can use this as a planner as you can see here so I will just show this to you in a slow I mean in the actual real-time way that I am plotting down so the measurement of my traveler's notebook is it's eight inches long okay the length so I divided in four so there's about um, two inches of height in each of the section here okay but since I have been using my happy planner before that I have subdivided them in three vertically well I didn't it comes with a subdivision in its own but I list it vertically where I separate the work social networking as well as my personal things what I'm going to be doing here is I am going to be doing it horizontally because if I do it vertically it's not going to work and that's the reason why it didn't work because I was trying to use my traveler's notebook and try to mimic uh, the happy planner which it isn't so learning from my happy planner I'm doing this on a horizontal way and I will show you how I subdivide now it's a little tricky when doing the boxes because I am trying to do three and the width of each page is about four inches and you divide it by three so I've, I just kind of try to estimate it and just try to, to make them as even as possible so you can see I made a mistake I think the first column is a little bit wider than the rest so I am going to be erasing that so here I am I have already plotted them or or draw the line in pencil it's always good because it's temporary and you can just you know erase if you make a mistake so right now here I am writing over with my paper mate and as you can see here I do the three sections from Monday through Friday because I work from Monday through Friday and on Saturday I only do two sections and I don't have a section for work because I do mostly the bulk of my social networking on weekends so I am not splitting the boxes for Saturday and Sunday in three but just in two where the social networking kind of double the size of my personal because again I'm using what was supposed to be allotted for work as for my social networking and at the very bottom as you could see there I have a whole box for notes so here I'm gonna be labeling this with M for Monday T for Tuesday W for Wednesday TH for Thursday and then on the next page is F for Friday S for Saturday and then SU for Sunday so I have enough space now and I can see all the days and again like I said before on my happy planner weekly layout for the first week of October I said if you really want something you will make it work and I really want to use my traveler's notebook so I figured out a way and it works out so you can see I'm writing in blue the days, the dates. So for example, the 3rd of October through the 9th of October for this week's layout. And here, I'm just gonna write the word notes, okay? So from here on, I'm gonna be fast forwarding it so that I can jet down my, the things that I'm doing as well as how I'm embellishing this. Cause you know me, I still wanna decorate my planner and I'll show you how I do that. And I'll be adding some music as well. Talk to you later.
all that's left for me to do is just decorate also my monthly calendar, the one that I attached earlier, so it's not just a plain white calendar. I am adding these clear stickers that I call kawaii, meaning cute stickers that I got from Amazon. So I'm really liking how this traveler's notebook has turned out to be my go-to planner and tracker and even a journal as I have shown you in my previous flip through. Thank you so much for joining me today and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.